Hello again, my name is Joshua. I'm going by the name of uh, Firetap now. I've uh, had an email from someone who uh, has a machine shop and they're, they're all set up. They can uh, you know, start making some various devices for the uh, flame pipe. As you know, the, the flame pipe now I have set the whole pipe in a, into a steel array, but uh, initially a couple of years ago, when I was out, still up in Hazelton, there was a friend that I met up there, and uh, he machined a piece for me out of some metal stock that he had kicking around. Now this is about maybe an inch and a quarter. Uh, he tapered it there, machined it there, so I, so I could actually place a pipe around then like that, right? And this is meant to be a support base here and going into a tripod like you would see in a, in a camera. <clears throat> this would be your air and this would be your fuel. And what you have inside is basically a bore right in here. It's about probably a 70, 75 degree bore. Actually, for the greatest efficiency, you want this board to be around 52 degrees. It would be half the, uh, half the width of a, of a pyramid. The shape angles are important when you, when you start working with third dimensional energies. And you have this other board here, and that's just for setting in a piece of uh, pipe copper pipe or stainless steel for testing. So this would go on to a, a deal so you could be, you'd be able to swivel this way and you'd be able to do swivel this way for, for your test. This works very good. I've been able to put as much as uh, 70 pounds PSI through this and still keep the flame <coughs> from blowing out. Normally you take 60, 70 pounds pressure uh, that you add to a torch, it would blow out unless you had oxygen to it to uh, tighten up the flame, but just using compressed air and, and propane and, and uh, bringing the air in through here through, uh, through a propane line and the fuel through here, that you can actually create a very strong implosion burn again in, inside the pipe. It's, it's, it's very reactive. But you want to change your bore size to about 52 degrees for, for those who have a machine shop out there. Okay, so this here basically is, is this, just enlarged. Uh, as you have seen in the past videos, the flame pipe is two inches across. And so if you had your flame pipe, you could actually take your flame pipe and slide it over here, okay? And you might go to a smaller size, like an inch and a half. You could do a, a smaller pipe testing. You could, go, you could go down to an inch and a quarter, slide it on here. This, would, this pipe would go further. And so you could do your, do your smaller test. So basically, you have your fan. You've got your fan reduced down to about an inch and a half. And you're pushing the air into this 52 degree cavity. And it would be smart to have a little air gap in there that just in case you get a flashback or something like that. This is your protection circuit or part of it. Okay, you, you generate your fan, you got your fan on low, the air is being compressed into the reactor tube, and as it's going in, it's, it's uh, uh, vortexing, and uh, you have your pipe added on here. So the time that the, uh, you should have your, your fuel will be here, say, as your fuel will be coming in here and mixing with the air coming out here, your, your fuel would be, uh, and your air would be pre-mixed and already in a in enhanced uh, vortex state. So when you go to light it, you're, you're already that much, that much ahead, ahead. One of the people sent in an email was saying, well, this is very much like the ramjet, yes it is. I'm not going to argue the point, but all you can take all the properties of the ramjet, and if you reverse it, you would 
you'd be able to understand like where I'm coming from on the design, the, the ramjet. It, it, air is rammed in, you know, into the engine for combustion, and in here you're ramming air in, but you, uh, you when you start it up, you actually you're creating a an implosion flame, and that's the reason. And this is the name that I've given to uh, this topic is in, implosion dynamics. And uh, there's lots of stuff in the past about vortex. Uh, the people in the past, the vortex tube and things like that, you know, this is similar. Your, your speeds of rotation are just really actually exponential in the tube. And so when you take fire, you're taking water, you're taking air, <clears throat> you're taking the fuel being the earth, when you, when you mix the four elements of nature together in a resonant form, you're going to give a, get an over unity reaction. In recent tests done with uh, the, the uh, level three flame using the implosion flame, I was able to uh, get over 300 percent, or be able to uh, make water into steam at at less than a third of the conventional time, compared to the uh, level two of the blue flame, which is uh, burns outside the plate and outside of the flame plate. And it's, it's a very strong blue, that's what you would normally expect. And uh, it's kind of strange because in the level three, say if this was the end of the flame pipe, there was no flame coming out. The flame was being generated back here, like the, the whole pipe was red. And yet the exhaust was, was hotter than, than the, than the uh, uh, level two of the, uh, the blue flame. But anyway, uh, this is uh, my answer to. Uh, that gentleman who uh, was inquiring about wanting to uh, design a piece to uh, <coughs> be used in the Joe type, Joe type, or Joe pipe, pardon me. Uh, this is perfect. You could weld on a, uh, a support pin here and just make up a base where you could just set her in and you're rolling. You could actually have it so your base could, could tilt and you'll be able to spin something like a Gatling gun, right? But it's for far better purposes. And uh, I guess if you wanted to enhance the uh, process, you could put a counter-rotational spiral uh, on here, or even maybe take some wire and, and spin it so where the, where the uh, wire would actually uh, help to enhance the spin. It's good to have a little bit of right wing. Uh, it should be possible to uh, put a put a right flame right within the reactor tube. You want to make sure to go counterclockwise. You go the other way, and you're actually creating a, a almost like a neg negative organ energy, and uh, you don't want to do that because it's everything has spin. Uh, everything turns in the universe. All energy turns uh, either to the left or to the right, and uh, one way is the life cycle. And the other way is, is the reverse cycle where everything dies. And for your fan, I find that a four inch, uh, a four inch bulkhead fan out of a, that they use for taking vapors out of a, out of a ship, out of a sailboat or whatever, out of the engine room, works fine. You just have to get some uh, plastic ABS material, get the reducers and just make it fit. You know, it doesn't take all that much work. Okay, this ends the lesson for the uh, first lesson on the potion dynamics. And anybody that's out there that has facilities, go ahead and let me know how things turn out. Stainless steel works very good for this. Uh, this here tends to rust on you and, and you have a hard time getting your getting your pipes off. But it sure is a handy gadget to have. So you got it mounted on there, and you can go to it.